there's a fellow I'm sure you probably know of him and some of your folks listening, Michael Beckwith, who does a lot of work with Agape. And he might have been the first to coin this, but I don't know. I've seen it come up a lot, which is these four phases of spiritual growth. And really, it they describe our relationship to the world in a very simple way. And the first is, and it's never linear, and it doesn't mean that we're always in one of these four over constant time, so we might jump back and forth. But one of the ways, which is the lowest form, in a sense, is the world happens to me. It's really the victim mentality, where I don't feel like I have much agency, where I'm just in this flow and everything happens to me and I react. And um, and that's okay. There are times when that happens, and I'll come back to that with my third principle. I wrote three things down. So the second is we get into this strong agent world where it's like, I make the world happen. The world happens by me. And it's powerful because you move from victim mentality into one of feeling like I can do. But the problem with this mindset is, of course, when I stop doing, nothing happens. Because if I am an independent, this is a bit Newtonian physics. This is like if I'm a separate, you know, fully enclosed a billiard ball bouncing up against others, then in fact, all of what happens to me is my will. And, and I have to be out there doing. And that's where we can be in that mindset that you spoke of, which is, well, it's true. But if I stop, I nothing happens. And the third phase, which which I think, you know, I dance a bit with, and if, if I'm honest, I'm not saying I'm further evolved than anyone, but I'm, I'm in this place of the world happens through me. And it's much more a state of co-creation where, yes, there's efforting, and yes, there's will and volition, but it's less a feeling of like deep, deep efforting. It's one more of like, oh, I'm working with what comes up. And so it's a little dance or a nudge as opposed to like, I must push this ball up the hill. And then just to mention the fourth, and I, I, you know, I can't speak too much about it experientially, although maybe there are little wisps of it, but it's the world happens as me. And it's kind of the true non-dual where, you know, I don't have to do anything and we're just the flower. So, but we can put that one to the side for now. I feel like it's probably a few people only and only some of the time. So that's the first thing that I would say is that if we can, as I've been able to try to intentionally develop, and I don't know if I intentionally developed it, but through intentional work and practices, there's more of a feeling like the world happens through me. There's generally less efforting. 